Morning, Ken's Backyard Garden. And here we are, we're looking over a couple of different things right now, and I appear to be zooming in on it. These are some of the flats that I use, and this is just a Walmart five to six dollar item, which I kind of like. You know, I've been using them for several years, they're not bad. And we've also got the humidity domes, which you can find at Walmart. Uh, preferably, if you have a garden center in your area, you'd probably want to use the garden center. But this is the Walmart five to six dollar tray, and they're, they're nice pots. They're not bad. I've used these last year and uh, wash them out. You can usually get two years out of them, and it's not a bad deal. Then I've got my old standby, which is just a flat black tray, as you can see, and different kind of pots, what have you, that you can put things in and fill these up. And then these were probably the best that I've ever seen. These I really liked. They're a very, very hard plastic case, and these are just really nice hard plastic tubs that uh, four inch that you can put your plants in. I haven't been able to find these. And, uh, also, when you're out there and you're putting your cucumbers in, there is the burpee trellis netting. This is milled sphagnum. I use a jiffy mix on the bottom, mix it up with water, put it into the flats, and then I put my seeds down and I lay this milled sphagnum on top of it. And then I, I just spray it into place, you know, with a uh, spray bottle. The milled sphagnum has a bacteria in it, and the bacteria that's in the milled sphagnum will uh, grow and create a hormone which kills molds, mildews, funguses, and what have you. So, you know, I've found that that to be a very nice thing. These also <laughs> are my plant spikes, which are homemade. You can make them from any Venetian blind. Just find a Venetian blind, go down to the Dollar General, what have you and you can get one for two bucks cut it strings off cut it up and you've got uh, plant markers for the garden probably for the next couple of years and also what i have been using the miracle grow it's the liquid from dollar general of course but hey these are just a few of the things that i use in the garden give you a quick idea of what's going on here and we'll be back with more plantings this is ken from ken's backyard garden